Hello, good people. My name is Richard Clemens. I will be your host for the duration. This is by Paul in Cleveland on the TNC Network. Welcome one, welcome all. There's one, we are GP. Hey, so I love my new mic, right? So I'm doing a second show uh, in one day. <clears throat> got it right, got to pile this stuff up. If you ain't got a million dollars, then you got to make a million dollars worth of content. Um, I just, right, so I had to stop the recording because I, I had to find a better clip because it was music and the other one and I don't want nobody flagging my uh, stuff for music right so I had to take that one I, I stopped it so that's that so we have to start all over uh, it's take one for you it's take how many of it for me <laughs> I'm still always going to tell y'all when I fuck up I don't care <laughs> but uh, welcome back welcome back um so, this is a TNC Network show. Um, I am a minister by law. I can marry you. I can bury you. Right. With this COVID stuff going on, I need to call me. You know, because I want to start a crematorium. And, uh, and like, you can have the people, you know, burnt up and melted down to, like, sculptures and shit. You know, you can have them for always. And then people don't got to, you know... Uh, fight over the remains like a little you know you can spread up you can spread the ashes out you know they make uh pretty ass sculptures you know I'm telling you this is a whole big ass idea i have you know but you know you know right that's my favorite word now i guess it's shorter than know what i'm saying so i'm like knocking them down right like I used to, I noticed like when Obama used to say um a lot, you know, people notice right, your diction, but they don't notice how the hell they talk though. <laughs> and then people, then people that's on the radio and stuff, like they have to be all proper and, you know, watch their words, you know. With great power comes great responsibility, people. But anyway, I feel free now. I'm going to talk to y'all. Uh, in a better way without nothing in my face. So, uh, we're gonna get the show started. It's something about Trump. That's where I found a clip at. Something about women. Um, I just grabbed some notes, you know, that you probably should have heard already, but you haven't. So, let's play the clip and start the show. Don't you go nowhere. Be right back. And I tested very positively in a in another sense so this morning yeah i tested positively toward negative right so you know i tested uh, perfectly this morning meaning meaning i tested negative and you know when you say per capita there's many per capita it's just like per capita relative to what but you can look at just about any category and we're really at the top meaning positive on a per capita basis we are bringing our country back and a big focus is exactly that with the uh, minorities uh, specifically uh, if you look at uh, the asians we hit the body with a tremendous uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light and i think you said that hasn't been checked but you're going to test it and then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that too. Sounds interesting. Right. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets in the lungs and it does a tremendous number of lungs, so it'd be interesting to check that so that you're gonna have to use medical doctors with but it sounds it sounds interesting to me i think you said well if you'd like it i said yeah i'd like it i'd like to take it a lot of people are taking a lot of frontline workers are taking hydroxychloroquine a lot of front i don't take it because hey people said oh maybe he owns the company no i don't know the company you know what i want the people of this nation to feel good i don't want them being sick and there's a very good chance that this has an impact, especially early on. But you look at frontline workers, you look at doctors and nurses, a lot of them are taking it as a preventative. And they're taking, totally unrelated, but they take the z or the Zithromycin for possible infection. 
Now, I haven't taken that other than an original dose because the all you need, you don't have to take it simultaneously. But the zinc you do take. So I'm taking the two, the zinc and the hydroxy. And all I can tell you is, so far, I seem to be okay. Don't forget, we have more cases than anybody in the world. But why? Because we do more testing. When you test, you have a case. When you test, you find something is wrong with people. If we didn't do any testing, we would have very few cases. They don't want to write that. It's common sense. So we test much more, many, many times. South Korea, you hear about. I spoke with the president of South Korea. I spoke with many different presidents, prime ministers. Uh, they can't believe what we've been able to do on testing. They can't believe what we've been able to do on ventilators. We're sending them ventilators. Other countries, Italy, Spain, uh, other countries, France is having tremendous problems, tremendous problems. We're helping them with ventilators. And it's been uh, very spectacular. It's been really spectacular. So, yeah, I think, uh, I don't think anybody's done a better job with testing, with ventilators, with all of the things that we've done. And our, our uh, death totals, our numbers per million people are really uh, very, very strong. Uh, we're, we're very proud of the job we've done. Uh, well, I don't know much about it. Does anybody want to talk about it? It's, uh, she's a wonderful young woman. Uh, Katie, she tested uh, very good for a long period of time, and then all of a sudden today she tested positive. Uh, she hasn't come into contact with me. She spent some time with uh, the vice president. Uh, it's, uh, I believe, the press person, right? You'd say press person. Uh, so uh, she tested positive out of the blue. This is why the whole concept of tests aren't necessarily great. The tests are perfect but something can happen between a test where it's good and then something happens and all of a sudden she was tested very recently and tested negative and then today i guess for some reason she tested positive so mike knows about it and mike has uh, done what he has to do i think he is uh, on an airplane going to some faraway place all right i heard that before right i didn't know it was that long but, like, all this crazy stuff, because somebody made that off. Like, I don't know who that girl is. Uh, I don't know. Like, but somebody made a compilation of a, uh, a girl imitating Trump, right? And saying all the things that he say. I guess I don't know how long the clips be, but, like, they put them all together. So that's what you heard. Like, you know, that's about... 10, 15 clips and like, you know, of the crazy stuff that this man says, you know, and my point, right, it gives me an idea, right, because our governor, Mike DeWine, you know, has blocked these people from saying that the shit is dangerous, that you shouldn't be taking it. Like, I don't know, like, the, 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 the attorney general or <laughs> for doctors or however it goes, like, say, don't take, you know what I'm saying, don't listen to Trump, like I told y'all a long time ago, you know, don't listen to this man about taking this medicine, you know, you're going to die, but, and people have died already, but the thing is, uh, Mike DeWine has blocked them from uh, doing it, you know, from saying that it's no good, so they saying that you can take this, and this mixed with that, you're supposed to take this, like, I mean, this stuff don't make no sense. And then the stock like went up like 30%. I don't, 30% in one day before, you know. Got to watch this stuff. Got to watch what Trump say because he moves the market, you know. And like this is, like I'm telling you from a book or a movie perspective, this is the bad guy. <laughs> like this, this ain't no fucking, like this is the real deal. You know what I'm saying? From a Bible type of stance all of that shit. Like, this is the real bad guy. You know what I mean? And, like, and it's not even, it's fumbling and bumbling. You know what I'm saying? It's a whisper, not a bang, people. You know what I mean? It's incompetence. You know? It's not everybody going to war and all of this. It's because you put somebody in charge, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. And that's how it all comes down. And I've seen it before, you know? And in little groups, you know? Like, we know how 
Like if you if you've been you've been part of a group, a team, or a gang, or any organization, you know how the whole world works. It works just like that on a bigger scale. You know all that little that inner circle. You've been in the inner circle of stuff, right? You control that world that you live in. You know, and you fighting for power, and you somebody talking about this and somebody talking about that. You know, especially like you know in a corporate in an office area. You know. It's like I worked in a different type of office area because I worked with it was reversed, you know what I'm saying? Like telemarketing is like mostly females and a few men. Like, you know, in the other in the reverse world, you know, is more men than women. You know, so in my world I got treated like females get treated. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna fuck with you, you know? Some wanna fuck you, some wanna see what you're doing, all this type of stuff, you know? It's like it's it's even worse when it's the other way around, you know. Like, cause women, women don't, you know what I'm saying? Like women play, they play games, you know? Like, like you, like you food, you know, like you're a mouse, you know what I'm saying? They are the tiger, you know, they play games. But anyway, you know, Trump is claiming, like, right, our, so our retarded uh, governor, you know, is talking about it's cool to take this hydrochlorine, blah, 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 right? And then some other stuff with it and it works and then they didn't got this nigerian uh doctor right to talk about how you know uh it's cool to take and she's uh you know she's treated over 300 patients and you know and it's worked on all of them and then somebody else you know like you got people right this is i'm sorry this is third and fourth uh source information that I'm giving you because this is what, you know, the bloggers and the YouTubers are spreading around, you know, like, and then they tell me they keep taking down, uh, what the Nigerian doctor is putting up. Um, you know, so if she's, if she's not telling the truth, why are you taking it down? You're taking it down because this shit is not true. Like, what are you, like, how do you make things correct when they're not correct? You know what I mean? Oh, why do you take it down? You know? And then like you could, people are, all, all you do is complain about fake news and about people putting up stuff that's not supposed to put up. And so, oh, you know, if, if it's fake, then people will figure it out. Did no, no, they won't. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> yeah, y'all always think y'all smarter than y'all are. <laughs> I swear to God, this wasn't that. This is what got Nick Cannon in trouble. <laughs> I've been through that shit, right? I used to be a genius. I ain't on that no more. But, you know, he's talking about, so, like, you know, Trump, I was, I played that clip to show you how this man's mind works, right? And, you know, like, in, going back to this mail-in fraud about voters, you know, mail-in and they ballots. I, like, I don't know when I wrote these notes. Like, and he just said it this week again, you know, and I know I wrote these notes. I have not dated them. <laughs> but he's talking about it's going to be a big scandal, a big scandal, and all of these things. I might have been just saying it like right, and it's like, uh, he. Let me see. A big scandal, funny guy. So when he and his buddies, you know, fuck it all up, he gonna be like, "I told you so," and shit ain't funny, you know. Right, the stuff ain't funny, you know, like, and everybody, we just going along and um, living life, you know, and, you know, and the world is changing right in front of us. This is how I feel, you know, and I know we're supposed to laugh and joke at everything, I mean, because you have to, because this is, you know, we know what life is about, I guess, you know, um, but I... I always had the feeling that we could change things, you know, like, I don't care what y'all, like, you know, and I have, you know, like, if I think hard enough, you know, I have changed things, you know, I have influenced change before, you know, in situations and people's lives, you know, not always for the bad, you know, some for, you know, some for good, you know, have to uh, concentrate on that and build on, you know, build on more of those. Because, you know, like, individually, you know, we fuck up, you know, the closest people, the closest people to us lives. Like, we the ones that messed up their lives. We the ones that, you know, the, you know, Bobby ain't make it to to the NBA. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Got shot. He shot cornbread. You know, fastest nigga in the hood. But you know, Trump is basically crazy. It's getting dark. I need to cut this light on. Uh, right. So women are the nightmares that men, right, have created. All right. Yeah. Let me really cut the light on. Explain yourself, young man. So, you know, we are the ones that, we are the ones with the, we have imagination, you know. Like, women deal with here and now. You know, they deal, like, they live in fantasy world, but I don't know. Like, they deal in a certain reality, you know what I'm saying, that men don't have. Like, that killer cat shit. Like, they all cool during the day, and then at night, you know, this is where you get vampires from all these other stories that we made up but like these are the monsters right me and have the imagination you know like we once created her in the image of god see in the image of life you know what I'm saying we connected her to nature or we figured out that she was connected to nature you know and it you know we come from her but for exchange no robbery but like you know we make them the we make them the bad guy, the nightmare, the boogeyman, you know, uh all the writers you know, they they show us these things, but like they make them they make them they make them in a male form, you know what I mean? Like uh I'm not trying to be chauvinistic here, you know, like I'm all trying what am I reading? I don't know. I wrote the shit and I don't know what the hell I'm reading. Okay, so I guess the point I'm getting to is like you can't like a man can't talk about all the things that women do and uh and things like that. So men dress up like women and then they could say all the things, you know, that women say uh the ratchet way, uh Tyler Perry, you see what I'm saying? Or any man Right, to dress up like a woman, they have not been a good woman, right? These are not uh, good women that you would want to be around, you know, right? Why they always got to be fat? Why they always got to be, you know, uh, and like you, y'all just don't know how much Tyler Perry hate women, (laughs) right? The nigga put on a dress and a wig and you think that was a woman talking all that shit about y'all, talking all this, all this stuff that y'all do? Right? And y'all supported him. Oh, like, this is the thing. Right? Um, When I got out of jail, 2008, you know, all the girls that I was messing with, they had the, they had the plays on, um, you know, on on CD or even VH. <laughs> still had VH. <laughs> I think some people still had, right, I think they still had the tapes. You know what I'm saying? Tyler Perry started, <laughs> he grinded last of the VH, <laughs> VH tapes. <laughs> But CDs and like you know and like uh, what was that one of the first ones Diary of a Mad Black Woman you know what I'm saying he wrote this shit you know what I'm saying about y'all okay y'all made him a billion y'all made him a billionaire that's the shit I'm talking about you ever been mind fuck you know and y'all want to turn on me and when you love Tyler Perry though <laughs> right Medea you know what I'm saying that is a man. <laughs> talking dirty about y'all. Medea, keep it real, right? You know what I'm saying? All this shit Medea talk about women. You know what I'm saying? Right. Tyler Perry hate women. I don't talk about y'all like that. I love you. So, yeah, I talk the way I talk. Right, do he love women like me? I don't know. I wouldn't put him on no damn dress. And I don't talk like that. You know what I'm saying? He, I don't know. Maybe I do sometimes. Who knows? And then came the movies, right? He wrote all these movies. Now he got all these uh, TV shows, you know, on different channels, you know. Started with the comedy. Now it's all the black drama. You know, it's just, you know, it's just soap operas. You know, it's just Dynasty, Dallas, you know, wrapped in black chocolate, you know. I am not impressed, you know, I'm so tired of so tired of the same story, so tired of the same, you know, talk, you know what I'm saying? Like we like we are 
we are better than this, people. <laughs> like the shit that the shit that drunk and high people have created. Like, I think the world is getting boring because people don't do drugs. You know, what I'm saying like they used to, or they're not utilizing. You know, uh, the time that they spend in the drug uh, haze. You know, you gotta bring some of them um, life altering thoughts and ideas back to the real world, you know, and work on them, you know. You can't just keep on dipping yourself in the fountain of youth or the fountain, right, the fountain of youth and the fountain of uh, a better plan, you know, to build a better mousetrap, you know. What we have is good enough, people. We are the dream. We live in a dream. That's why you woke up. You don't remember what happened before. You just here now. So, uh, I think, right, I talk shit. Let me see, let me see. Did I finish that? Yes, I did. Because I was just talking about, you know, Ty Perry. Don't like when I talk dirty about y'all and dress it up as a woman. So I'm saying, at least I say it to your face. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's the difference between me and me. In them, so I talk shit about having multiple personalities, but I don't have that shit because all of my personalities drink alcohol. <laughs> eh, that's funny and true. Um, that's a joke, right? It is a joke. See, I wrote it down. I, I laughed and then I wrote down it was a joke. <laughs> but that's right. Also, um, my car don't like. Holidays. Oh, so I had to write this around 4th of July because my car was acting up. No place to go July 4th weekend. Yesterday was Patrick's birthday, so I wrote this on the 3rd because my little brother's birthday is uh, July 2nd. And his phone is off, and I was all prepared to spend money on him. <laughs> That was July 2nd. Uh, tomorrow's the 4th. And niggas want to protest the 7th. Right? Three days after the biggest holiday of the year. <laughs> right? I think July 4th is, think, uh, the biggest holiday of the year, people. You right? And then they had this black, you know, telling black people to, uh, to protest, uh, to boycott. Uh, all the retail stores on the seventh. <laughs> Three days after everybody spent their money, <laughs> like what the fuck? Like I just don't understand. Like and this stuff grain, and this this stuff gains momentum. You know what I mean? Like y'all just like you know what I'm saying. I don't know. It's like uh, I don't know how to describe it. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all just go for a bait. You know what I mean? It's motherfuckers. Y'all let people throw information out there and you just run to it. Just run to it. And I know it's a lot of us. So, you know, me seeing a couple hundred people, you know, gravitate towards ignorant stuff is, you know, not all of us, right, as a collective. And so it had me, right, it had me re-examine, like, who I associate with. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because why is all the time that I get on Facebook, I got to see this stuff from the people I know. You know what I mean? Like, everybody... You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody is miserable, you know, and want to talk shit about they the realest person and everybody else is fake. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> you hit me first. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, so, protest and outrage, right? Our protest and our outrage is always controlled. You know what I mean? Like, they tell us, like, we're going to march on this day. We're going to do this this one day. I'm saying, like, have black people ever surprised white people <laughs> just showed up? <laughs> like a flash mob and just, like, we didn't see them coming. <laughs> we always say, look, white people, oh, oh, <laughs> on this day, <laughs> September 3rd, 2007, such, we going we going we going to get on your ass <laughs> we going to be at this address down the street the third house on the left fuck out of here you know what i'm saying <laughs> nah, this is not how it's done it's not how any of this is done 
<laughs> the show Snowpiercer. Okay, right. That was, I guess it had a it had a good ending. I haven't even told y'all. Right. I mean, I, I mentioned it about uh, the old guard and everything. You know, it's a movie I watch. I'm going to do a movie review some people, right? Because I'm not going to keep on talking about the same shit all the time, which is, you know, stuff out of my mind that I wrote down. It's like, you know, uh, I, right, we already been on through all this. Okay. So, anyway, you know, it's different shows for different days. Like, because Snow Piercer, Snow Piercer, you know, was uh, it's a pretty good show. I still haven't watched that movie, you know. I've seen the reviews on it. I know what it's about. I think I even listened to part of the uh, audio books. Damn, my shoulders are starting to hurt. I be thinking too hard. It's just so right. Um, okay, Snowpiercer, where the top and bottom work together, right? Black people been going along with the system forever, uh, meaning since they started, you know. But the point is about being two different people. Right, like you know, we are not white people with tans, black people, and white people. You gotta understand, like, as white people, you gotta understand that some of you black people gotta understand that, nigga. Uh, you know, white people are self conscious, like a fat girl, you know, uh, they got skinny, you know, and can't believe that people, you know, like her for her, uh. And fear, fear keeps people broke and keeps people rich. Poor people want to know too much and rich people won't give enough. Poor people want too much. And right, poor people want too much and rich people won't give enough. And that's true. See what I'm saying? Like, we always try to connect things. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm poor because I don't have enough. Like, no, you poor because you want too much. You know what I'm saying? And then people rich, they're like, oh, I can't give away. I can't give nothing away because then I won't have nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of y'all are fucked up. My name is Richard Clements. How you doing? Uh, you can send me a dollar if you like what I said. Send me two if you don't. The zeros are on you. TNC, preach, cash out. Right. Oh, I just got my um my stuff from um from the bank. So I got a real bank account now for y'all, you know, separate. <laughs> right? So things could be transparent. I'm gonna put this shit up on like uh YouTube, I don't know, right, on my website, you know. Money in, money out. Get a system going, you know what I'm saying? Um so so I guess a man with no girl is a man with no God, right? They say, right, you know, and you call it a home, you call it, you know, land or anything, whatever. They gonna give a fuck. As long as my girl, right? Like, that we didn't did. Like, as long as my girl with me, baby, as long as you with me, we can take over the world. I'll give a fuck. Just don't leave me, girl. <laughs> you have 15 seconds left on your call. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been to jail too much. You got to deal with it, people. But, uh, you know, so a man with no girl is a man with no God. You know, it doesn't mean you don't believe in God, right? Uh, how, right, you just got to know how to train a dragon. Uh, okay, so every month I try... I try, do that. So every month I say <laughs> I'm gonna get a lawyer. Uh, you know, like a down payment for legal fees and stuff like that. You know, like I've tried to get a couple of lawyers and like, ain't nobody called me back. You know, like it's not a joke. Like I'm not. I, uh, I should have been my own fucking lawyer. Like they don't make me right. People they make you do. Like you know what I don't like. Well, I guess I mean I don't know what I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it. I don't like. I don't like the motivation of no help. I don't like the fact that, you know, people uh, not helping you motivate you to do it yourself. Because I, I could do it, but I do want help because I have these bright ideas. But it's like, I know it's more, it takes more than just me. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, people always want you to do it yourself. Or, you know, it's like, you know, if you believe in it, then do it. Like, nigga, I believe in it. Like, this is how much because I need more, you know what I'm saying? 
is it takes is bigger than me, Miss Hawkins. You know what I mean? Like people always, I guess people can't like they just focus on them, right? They want to win a race. You know what I mean? Like one, like you know, I don't know. I don't know. I just think a little different, right? And I'm gonna be proud of my left hand to the day I die, because you right-handed motherfuckers have fucked up the world. Period. So, uh, I said I'm going to get me a lawyer, right? Um, you know, put a down payment. Supposed to be the month. Every month, so, something got me. Supposed to be this month. Something got me down. I wrote this a minute ago, I guess. Because, you know, I'll be putting notes together, too. But I got a stapler so I can keep them all together. Uh, right. Nothing to do with... I don't know, why do I write right when I say it all the time? I know I'm going to say it, but I still write it down. There's <laughs> nothing, nothing to do with the doctor. Like, no, nah, this cancer talk ain't nothing, nothing new like that at all. But I got, but I guess it just got me down. I guess I was down a little bit. And, you know, can't. All right, can't quit drinking. <laughs> Ten, the more I try, the worse I get. One or two turns into three or four or five. Like, nigga, I'll show you. <laughs> we was good with the guilt of drinking one or two. Uh, right. It's like, like want to quit. You know what I'm saying? want to quit everything. You know, I didn't work my way down to, uh, you know, uh, uh, a regiment, <laughs> right? And so now I want to quit the regiment. So I try to quit the regiment. And they be like, no, okay. <laughs> One or two, nigga, I could do five or six. I could do ten. <laughs> uh, do you know who I am? And I, right, and I change, I change personalities like off of one drink. You know, like, you know, don't know this stuff after all this time. Well, know these things, you know. And it's not like a really uh, uh, a switching of personalities. It's more of uh, awareness of the of my area and who's around me. You see what I'm saying? And to match the energy that's being put out. And so you know, you know, sober. You know, anybody you're like you know, you just cool. Like you just you know, uh, you know, I don't know. You just you don't see things what other people see, you know, and then you have a drink or you have a smoke and then the crazy shit that they talk about, you see it too. But if they talking crazy, like, you know, then you, you are willing to check them on it. You know, it's like you, you know, you, you in the jungle too, you know, with your flask. Like, I guess, you know, I guess sober people are supposed to be around, like you can't be an angel in a room full of demons. Like that stuff always get to me, you know, like, and then it's like about willpower. Like, you know, why can't you, you know, why can't you, you know, uh, minister and talk sensibly to people, you know, while remaining sober? Cause then maybe, you know, they will be more receptive, receptive to what you say. <laughs> but it don't work that way. I've been sober, try to talk to somebody drinking, you know what I'm saying? And they don't want to hear that shit. Like, you can't talk to people while they drinking. So when are you supposed to admit, like, you know, uh, when are you motherfucking sober? You know, because one drink affects us all. Believe it or not. So. Right. I feel real bad about not being able to quit all the way and right and I'm sick so I'm supposed you know what I'm saying I'm supposed to be more motivated but I am not I am but I'm not surrounded by alcoholics right funny part but not true and lies the kicker is I'm old school as they say so no pills no coke none of that I'm not old school, right? I missed the window where that was cool. What that was cool. All right, I smoked water <laughs> before, or that was my thing, right? I think that right, what you call uh, what they call it, LSD, what the fuck ever, the stuff to take you to the moon. 
Uh, they said it was the worst, right? They said that was worse, even worse than crack. And uh, that shit will make, or that shit will make, or make you think it is real. It gotta be worse than cocaine, but I never did cocaine. They tried to get me, <laughs> but I guess I'm immune. Like already there, they, where y'all trying to get? All right, cause like I've tried cocaine, like sniffed it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never tried no crack or nothing like that. On my mama, but like I just sniffed it uh, with a couple girls, and like I never felt it. You know what I'm saying? I haven't felt it. I guess it was garbage, probably, cause it was later on in you know what I'm saying, in my thirties. So I don't know. They were still making good stuff. You know, and then girls, like, and people give girls, like, they give them free cocaine, but it's not like uh, it'd be the good shit, you know what I'm saying? So probably never, like, it might have been, like, two or three times, you know? Never felt nothing, you know? Uh, so, just wanted to get those notes out there. Uh, right, me and, this is it, and this is all. Men know where we come from, right? We know that we come from women. We came out the pussy. We all know that. It's women that don't know, you know what I'm saying, that don't know their place. They don't know their place in the world because they, you know what I'm saying, they are, they are just connected to nature, you know what I'm saying. They are the world. <laughs> but, like, we come from them, like, you know, the last thing made. And uh, they know men ain't in charge I guess they fall for or lay I guess they fall chicken or egg. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say there uh, but you know we know where we come from like they the ones that don't know where they come from so it's like this is why we have the smooth tongue and you know being able to calm them down and you know to guide them because you know, it's like it's like God making itself flesh, right? Oh, right. And they don't know. I get it. And like, there's no more. Like we wrote the books about it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I bet you, right? You know what I'm saying? Maybe in the beginning, like you know what I'm saying? Like it was something for women. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, to you know, like this is you, baby. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Like this all come from you and stuff like that. Like the shit that we would say to our girl, you know what I'm saying? If she upset, like I wrote all it, like you know what I'm saying? All of this is created, you know, like however, but like um, that's that, you know. Let me see. Big Mama had twins and one was a boy, right? Cause like we could be twins, but and the whole thing is. I say that all the time, like, we could be twins, but they still came first, you know what I mean? And it's like, and it's, even as far as twins go, you know, you had to you had to put many stories together, you know what I'm saying, in our curation, people. It's not just one story that's correct, you know what I'm saying? There were many stories that, uh, that happened at the same damn time, you know what I mean? A lot of different stories. The twin thing, her being lonely, you know what I'm saying, going crazy, out of love, out of loneliness, you know what I'm saying, creating us from her, you know, and then, you know, us, sep us sep separating from the beginning, you know, all of those type of things, you know. Ah, the rest of the stuff, I've been over. I ain't know that stuff no more. I done told y'all, you know, uh, God is a girl, and all this shit that y'all wrote about is about her. So we are moving on to the next phase of life and um, thinking at the TNC church because I'm getting live, right? So I made this avatar. So I brought this thing. <laughs> I brought this thing uh, where I could make animated, you know, uh, presentations, right? So my words, like I told y'all before, right? Then I'm, I'm telling you, my show, the beginning, like it might suck, but like I was laying the foundation of the seeds that that you are now you know, going to see grow further. But anyway, my words, somebody else saying them, you know what I mean? And, uh, right. And I can't, I can't, 
Well, I can write, write and all that stuff <laughs> and make my character say it. But I'm not going to do all that, you know what I mean? And it is, I, I haven't tested out if I could use profanity yet, you know what I mean? But I brought it, it's done. Like, now I got to buy all these damn upgrades uh, that they want to hit you with so it could be, you know, more. After I learn what the hell I'm doing with the first one, then I upgrade later on. But it's on. It's on and it's on. My name is Richard Clemens. I uh, appreciate you listening to me today about nothing. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to name this show. I guess I'll just name it Happy to Have a New Microphone. Because right? I'm making moves, people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I could grow my brand, right? So I can grow. And because, uh, you know, talking... Talking doesn't do it, you know, like action does it, right? And money, you know, money moves people, not words so much. You can sip, you know, right, probably like inspire people, you know. But I'm like, I'm not that type of inspirer. It's like, because we have to do it all together, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even, like, I can make the money, you know what I'm saying? I just want the money to go to the right places, you know, and to help, you know, build something that can grow. You know what I mean? Like, that's what they, like, that's what people do when y'all talk about business and all this and everybody want a million dollars. Like, you don't understand, like, you know, what it actually is about, you know? Because people that actually want a million dollars, they actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to talk about people. Y'all too complicated. Uh, until next time, uh, as one, we are GP. I am your host. I will be here for the duration. Until next time, this has been a TNC Network show. Peace. In my name, you know it. And I'm out. Do I got a clip? Did I play a clip? I ain't played a clip. Just got to talking. So, bye. I'm going to play a clip, okay? Find you a clip. I can't go back to the beginning and do none of that because that's not allowed. It's one take, one take only. <laughs> Keep it real on this side. All right, stop talking. Oh, I remember, right, I made, I played a clip. I played that Trump clip uh, about, you know, one retard listening to another retard. So listen to this clip. And I'll be right. And I'll see y'all next time. adjust to life on the outside. <laughs> Allow me to partelligize myself. Suppositorily speaking, my incarceration has forced, you understand, the ventilation of, shall I say, my dairy air. And upon my discharge, I will evacuate, excuse me, ejaculate my mind to the prophylactic of the bowels of society. But how would you support yourself, Mr. Bates, considering that your reading comprehension has gone down every year since you've been in prison? A very vaginative proposition, my man, that is to say prostitution pertaining to the cotet, you understand, of the argument. I myself have eminipotized my liquidation, therefore, ergo, i.e., that is the instigation, which is excessive cleavage, shall we say. So, let me clarify, or excuse me, clarify. In other words, I'd probably teach. All right, if there are no further questions, let us put this to a vote. All those in favor of parole vote aye. Aye. All those opposed vote nay. Nay. I'm sorry, Mr. Bates. Is there anything further you'd like to say? Let me be venereal in my requisition for this body of congregation free for the personal uh, gratification of my urethra, as the Greek philosopher uh, uh, Massengill once dictated. Lickets 
my pro biscuits. Undouche me. I can find my own damnation in tardy completion. Yeah,